Tuan Lee came to see me about a dog. <laughs> I ain't got a dog, but I got a ferret. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Right, a few fans, Lydia. A little bit of outskirt for the nation's territory. What do you think you're doing? My job. Now, why don't you do yours? Get that thing away from me! Oh, come off it. It's not like you've got anything else to offer, is it? Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Did your friend explain that the procedure can be costly? I've looked into it before. Look, how soon can I have the operation? Well, actually, you're in luck. I've had a cancellation this week. But I really don't want to rush you. No, 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 no. I'm ready. Excellent. Then why don't you go home, pack a few essentials for a couple of days, and pop back later this afternoon? Morning. Oh, hey, Greg. Listen, Pops, just wanted to say how sorry I am that you're leaving. And I think I'll speak on behalf of the whole office when I say we're really going to miss you. Oh, thanks, Greg. And if you need anything, anything at all, you just ask me, all right? OK. Cheers. Thanks. Look, I'd better be getting on, so I'll uh, see you later, yeah? OK. Cannot wait for Friday, mate. I'm going to make those puppies howl. Leaving parties are like a dream. A no-holds-barred sex dream. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, well... Hmm. Yes, I do. And I telephoned the school to tell them that you'd been trampled by the elephant that was on the loose, and it was all over the radio, just in case they didn't believe us. Sean, what did I say before? You can do anything you set your mind to. Anything. Just remember this. Really? Anything? Just like you? Yes. Anything you set your mind to. You will get better at this, Sean. Just believe that you can do it. Ferret fancies himself as a hard man, and he likes to talk a big game. The big one pulls a knife out on me, but that's when my judo comes in handy. But most people take no notice. 